Peace, peace, peace. This is your humble hip hop sales coach, Tiger Toledo. And you already know what it is, man. You're rocking with the best. You heard? What's up, y'all? Peace, love, and happiness to you guys. Uh, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about something that was powerful that I heard Eric Thomas say. And I'm not big on uh, motivational speeches or anything, but when he said that when he was a teacher uh, at, what was it, uh, University of Michigan, and he was this hip-hop preacher, right? He was a hip-hop preacher, and he used to wear a hat, and they would always say to him that it is unprofessional, that he's wearing the hat, that um, he's setting a bad image. Shout out to you, Carlito. What's up, Leslie Davis, Sherry? Smith, he used to say that they used to ridicule him, and I'm talking about Eric Thomas for everybody that's tuning in late. Um, Eric Thomas said that when he was a professor at the University of Michigan, they used to ridicule him because he used to wear his hat, and he used to call himself the hip-hop preacher, right? And he always said that go where you are celebrated, not tolerated, right? And that stuck with me. Out of all the things that he's ever said, that stuck with me the most. Because if you do not have the right people to applaud and give specific type of critique that will make you better as a person, you don't need to be around those people. You know what I mean? You don't need to be around them type of people. You need to be around people that says, hey, go ahead and audition in front of me. Tell me how you would pitch your company. Tell me how you would raise capital for your 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 new company. What does your ideas look like? You want people like that around you. And then after you deliver your message, deliver your, your pitch, your spiel, then they give you insightful critique that will actually help you in the long run. That will help you become better. Too many times, people want to drain your energy. They want to drain the, the very existence of what makes you strong and powerful. And they want to see you fall on flat on your face. Don't give them the satisfaction. Don't even include them in the stuff that you do. If you have people like that on Facebook, Instagram, whatever the situation is, if you find yourself going back and forth, now raise, you know, hit one, if you find yourself going back and forth with people on social media trying to justify why you think the way you think. If you find yourself getting the arguments on social media, first thing you need to do is block those type of people. Unless they're giving you constructive criticism, you don't need that type of energy and what you're doing and where you plan to go. You know where you plan to go. You need to be around solid people, man. You need to be around people that are where you want to be. Not bloodsuckers, not vampires, not people that throw you off your game. There's enough people like that in the world. There's enough people like that in the world. So I hope this helps out with you guys, man. Uh, peace, love, and happiness to all you guys. Thank you for tuning in. And I hope everything is going extremely well in your lives. Peace, love, and happiness. Shout out.